My name is Professor Nathan Furr. I'm a professor of strategy here at INSEAD. My research and teaching is really about technology, strategy, and innovation. I chose to take the course because I'm very passionate about technology. I want in some point in the future to start my own business, so I thought technology innovation will help me to do so. Technology and Innovation Strategy is a course about how technology changes the world and the innovation processes that make it happen. Exploring what is the actual process by which innovators come up with ideas and then turn those ideas into new innovations and new growth businesses. Technology is impacting every industry in the world. So for the managers of the future, I think it's really important to have this deep understanding about how technology works and how technology is impacting your business. In class, we've been talking about how companies like Sony or MediaTek or Tesla manage technology. And we were actually doing a simulation so that we could practice living the principles and ideas we've been talking about. Students play the role of president of a battery company. They break out into groups and they have to decide, do we invest in this new technology that's uncertain? Do we invest in our existing technology, which seems to be growing? And the students have to manage the sales forecast, the pricing, they have to manage their revenue, they have to manage their investments. And so they find themselves wrestling with a very common dilemma in the real world. I really like this approach, the learning by doing experience. It really helps us to fully understand the trade-offs and the implications of our decisions. A little nice to do rather than just talk, right? To, to try it rather than think about it. Uh, did anybody get fired right away? Yes, yeah. Tell me, what about the simulation did you find was challenging? Yeah, Shilpa. The R&D specifically, because improvement was not very significant and the customer preferences were still evolving. Also with the R&D, I think the R&D wouldn't kick in until towards your later years. Yeah. Also a tricky part. Yeah, it was hard. The R&D takes a long time. What your R&D dollars do is they follow the S-curve. We did the simulation 10 times. We failed 9 out of them. And on the last time we succeeded and we generated the highest revenues. What you learn is that there's a very delicate balance that you need to strike between not letting go of the old business and between managing the new business and driving it upward the, uh, the innovation curve. I really see these patterns lived out in the executives I work with. Corporations tend to be very impatient about growth. You're like, what's their problem? Are they so blind? And then when you sit in the budget seat, you're like, well, wait a minute, I've got to make this business profitable or I get fired. It's like this challenge of knowing what's the time that a new technology is going to come in. In class, we use multiple teaching techniques. So we will do case discussion. We'll do, of course, some lecture. We'll do a lot of discussion in small groups. Sometimes we break out in groups in a simulation. Sometimes we'll break out in groups to debate a particular technology and then return with our answer. At NCAD, you're studying together with students from around 70 nationalities and you get very good exposure to different experiences, different cultures. I've been able to learn a lot from my peers and learn different ways to approach problems, different ways to be creative or different ways to interact with each other as well. It's hard to find an industry or sector that isn't being changed by technology today. People who see technology playing a role in their future, people who want to shape the direction of technology or want to reshape their industry, this class gives them the tools.